In this chapter of math, we've been talking about addition strategies. Strategies that we can use to help us figure out our math facts very quickly and easily. I know that yesterday was kind of a little bit tough, but because of our strategies, we were able to figure out our addition facts very simple, simply and a lot faster because of our strategy that we learned to use. So today we are going to think of two different strategies that we learned so far to be able to solve four plus three. Okay? So there's actually three different ways we can solve this problem, but I want you to just think of one for right now. So in your brain, I want you to think of one way we can solve four plus three. Two, three people, four people have a strategy. Five, six, seven people have a strategy. Okay. I want you to get out your top colorful page and in this first box I want you to write the strategy that you are thinking in your brain to help me solve four plus three. I do not know what four plus three equals so what can you tell me to do to help me solve this problem okay write it down on your piece of paper okay some of you came up with the way that this is a count on math facts is this a count on math facts yes it is because remember if it is a plus one a plus two or a plus three it is called a count on. Okay, so one of my strategies that I have talked about in math is a count on. So that means I find the biggest number, which is four, so I go to the number four, and then I keep going, I keep counting on. Sir, please leave your folder alone. Thank you. So how many am I going to count on? Three, because that's what it says, so I move three. One, two, <coughs> excuse me, three. So this is a count on strategy. If you did not write count on, that's okay. Don't erase what you wrote. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I want you to write a different way <coughs> to help me solve this same math problem. There are several strategies that you guys could have talked about. Sir, I asked you to put your folders down. Thank you. Okay, so one of them was count on. If you didn't say count on, that's okay because that's one of many ways. Another way someone said is that look at the four and the three on the number line. Look at the four and the three. Oh, they are right beside each other. So what kind of math fact is it? A double. A double. It's a double minus one. You are exactly right. So my strategy is a double minus one. Okay? Because this number is bigger than this number. So what's four plus four? Eight. Eight. Minus one. Seven. seven. So my sum is seven. seven. Okay. Did that strategy help you with this addition sentence? Yes. 
Yes, it did. So you could have written that as well, okay? So some of you said double it. Double minus one will help you, and that's awesome, okay? That is exactly right. Those are the things that we have been working on in math. Now, some of you also wrote cubes. We can do four cubes and then three more cubes. Some of you did counters. Those are okay, but they take us a long time. So now our new strategy is to try to look at the actual numbers to see if it's a count on, if it's a double minus one, if it's a double plus one, if it's a double math fact, I need to know those so that I can add them very quickly in my brain. Using counters and using cubes doesn't let you do it in your brain, okay? Someone also said I could switch the addicts which is exactly true. You could, if you knew three plus four equals seven, then should you know four plus three equals seven? Yeah. Absolutely. Sir, I am not going to ask you again about your folder. Put it down and leave it alone. Thank you. Okay, so we could switch it if you knew what three plus four is. Also, I saw that someone said you could use the number line, which is exactly true. This kind of part of our count on strategy is by using the number line. Okay? Very good. So, first grade, today we are going to get to practice using those strategies. I want you to turn your paper over. <coughs> What kind of math fact is this? It is a count on because it is a plus one plus two or a plus three. Okay, so in this one, it's a plus one. Okay, so that means it is going to be a count on strategy. Okay, so I'm going to start at nine, and how many am I going to help? One. Figured it out very quickly and easily, right? Yeah. So I know my sum is two. ten. Thank you. Okay, my next addition problem is, it is a count on again, because I have plus two and plus two, okay? So nine, and then I hop two more. One, two, what number do I land on? 11. So my sum is 11. What strategy is this? It's another count on, okay? Let's look at this one. What kind of math fact is it? It's a doubles because both of them are the same. When I think of five and five, I think of my fingers. I've got five on this hand and I have five on this hand. Okay? So five plus five equals ten. Very good. Oh, what kind of math fact is this? Double plus one. It's a double plus one. Because isn't this one just a little bit bigger than this one? They are double plus one. And they're godchildren. They're beside each other on the number line. Okay, very good. So it is a double plus one. So we double the five. That's the first one we do. Then we add one more. Then that's our sub. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you notice this too? Yeah. Are they beside each other? Yeah. So it is a double minus one because this one is smaller than this one. So I double the first one. What's five plus five? Ten. Ten minus one is nine. Nine. 
So look, first grade, it tells you what your strategies are on each box, okay? So you need to make sure to use your strategies, and that will help you with all of the math facts on this page.